Hey everybody, Ian Holtz here, founder over at Affiliate, and today we're going to give a demo walkthrough of our Affiliate Neo desktop wallet. Uh, our wallet is available for release uh, next week on Friday, April 20th, uh, and we'll leave a, uh, a link to our website uh, where that'll be available for you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started by clicking the Affiliate icon down here in the tray. I'm running a, a Windows version. Uh, for uh, the release, we will have uh, a Windows, Mac, and, uh, and, and a Linux build. All right, so you'll notice the, the wallet fired right up. Um, not sure if you can see this, but we're running version 0 .0 0.0.5. And in full disclosure, this is not the version uh, that we'll be releasing next week. Uh, we're still working on, on uh, some adjustments. This is just a test version. All right, so we've got a, a login and a create wallet option. Uh, if we create wallet, you can name your wallet here. You can enter a custom passphrase. You go to create or you can get your, um, your private keys. Uh, but for this demo, we're going to use a, an existing uh, saved wallet. So we're going to log in. You can log in with a, a saved wallet, an encrypted key, or a private key. We're going to select saved wallet. We'll go ahead and select this one. You'll enter your passphrase here. If you want to reveal it, you can click this icon. We'll go ahead and log in. Give that a minute to load. Uh, you can also go back to the login section here if you want to create a wallet, if you change your mind. Give that a minute to load. All right. So uh, this is your dashboard, and you'll notice here at the top, you've got your 24-hour uh, portfolio data. You've got your send and receive. Uh, and this top nav will actually follow you um, throughout the UI. We're going to go ahead and click receive. You'll see a QR code, uh, the wallet address, and you can click this icon to copy it. Select done there. Let's just go through this. So it de defaults to uh, Affiliate. Uh, right now there's no token data because we're not trading obviously. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, change that. Uh, down here is gonna be where all your holdings are at and I'll show you in a minute here where you can, where you can add and, and remove tokens. So we, we know Neo's got trading data. Uh, so we select Neo, the token stats display up here. You can claim gas. You've got your supply, your market cap, uh, your holdings, 24-hour uh, change, uh, and then your chart data. And you can uh, adjust the views down here. It defaults to month. Uh, you can change that to day. You'll see the transitions. Uh, week, month, 90-day. Then down here in the bottom right quadrant, uh, you've got your recent transactions. You can interact with these just by selecting one, and then it'll display up above in the top right quadrant. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much it for uh, for the dashboard. I will point out that down here in the bottom left uh, shows we're running on mainnet, shows the block we're on, and uh, and the sync rate, and uh, the version, and obviously you can log out. So let's jump down here to uh, assets. So this is going to be where all, all your tokens are. Uh, and for, for the initial release right out of the box, it'll be, um, uh, it will be, avail it'll be available for all Net5 tokens. So it'll, it'll be integrated with all Net5 tokens right out of the box. You'll have to add them. Um, but yeah, so it'll by default show uh, Fillion, Neo, and Gas. And then you can add any other assets uh, right through here. It's real easy. I'll show you how to do that. You can add any other Net5 uh, token just by entering the script hash or the token symbol. So we'll just pick one here. Uh, how about Red Pulse? Is RPX. So we'll input RPX there for Red Pulse. We'll click Add. You'll notice um, the success right there. And there, boom, there it is. You can also remove it. Uh, because I have zero red pulse, it gives me the option to remove it. If I were to have a balance here, 
the remove option will, will be disabled. If someone were to send me some Red Pulse um, and it wasn't already in my, in my assets portfolio, it would, it would automatically appear. And then obviously it'd have a balance, so the remove feature uh, would be disabled. And then I'll just show you that it also has appeared here on the, uh, on the dashboard. Uh, gives you the option to pull it up. Uh, it will show uh, some, of the, um, some of the trading data. Um, this part is, is incomplete. That'll obviously be fixed uh, for the public release. But again, you can, you can interact with the listing data right here. And this will be the same process for any Net5 token that you want to add. I'm going to go back here to assets and I'll show you how easy it is to remove it. Hover over, click remove, you get the confirmation. It's gone from here, it's gone from the dashboard. Nice, easy, quick, intuitive. Uh, so that's it for the assets page. Um, let's jump down here to history. This is just an expanded view of uh, the transaction history that you saw on the dashboard. Um, and you can open these up. So you've got your date, you've got your token, the amount, the confirmation. And I can expand this just by clicking it. Gives you all the information here and then I can collapse it just by clicking it again. There you go. You can also search transaction history. It comes in handy, if, you know, once you've got a bunch of transactions here, you, it defaults to all, It'll allow you to scroll through, but you can collect, uh, you can select, sorry, seven days, 30 days, 90 days, or you can custom it uh, through a calendar option. All right, guys, so that's it for history. Let's jump over here to settings. All right, so we've got your address book. This comes in handy if you're, if you're transacting frequently with different wallets, you wanna store those. Uh, so you don't have to track them down. Uh, the search function works. I don't have any to search because I haven't added any yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and add one. You can add in a new uh, contact uh, or address here just by se selecting that option. We can name it. We'll name it Affilian Test Address. We'll enter some digits there. We'll select Add. Boom, there it is. Uh, so you can reference this. Uh, if you know it's the right one, you can select this option to, to copy it and paste it wherever you need to to make that transaction if you want to send. Or, and then you can, um, you can actually expand this just by clicking it. You can see the details here. Uh, and then you can even edit. Uh, this is also going to be where you delete it. So we'll go in here to edit. You can change uh, the information here or you can, uh, you can go ahead and remove it. And there it is. It's gone. All right. So we'll move over here. To the right tile, we've got preferences. You can change the default currency. Right now it's uh, at fiat dollars. You can change that to these options. And we'll be adjusting what's available here, obviously, moving forward based on feedback. Um, this is what, what we'll be launching with. Um, and this is gonna change, obviously, what's being displayed up here in the portfolio and obviously on the dashboard. Go ahead and um, collapse that. You can also toggle um, quickly between mainnet and testnet. Uh, and this is going to be where all your saved wallets are. You can you can change what wallet that you're in. You've got to enter the passphrase obviously to do that. Uh, you can even import a new wallet when you're logged into an existing wallet. You've got to know the uh, you can name it. You've got to know uh, the private key. You got to create a passphrase. You click import, uh, and there you go. So that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, we'll be releasing uh, the Affiliate Neo Desktop Wallet a week from today on April 20th. Um, You'll be able to get it on our, on our website. I'll list that web address um, down below. And uh, be sure to follow us on Telegram. Uh, we'll look forward to uh, any comments and, and feedback uh, that you have. Thanks, guys.